Life goes up and it goes down. I know my mom taught me that. I figured why we fool around so little, and we keep track of time. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Yvonne, and this is Sticky My Seventeen. My channel is all about cleaning, information, inspiration, and motivation. So if you're interested, please like and subscribe. Turn on those notification bells so you're notified every Wednesday and Sunday, 10 a.m. when I upload a new video. Um. I look like this because I was intending to go out today, but it's turned out that things aren't working to plan, as everything else in my life is not working out to plan, but anyway, um, so I thought, why not do my intro and outro with my slap on, because you never see me with slap, and if you do see me with slap, generally it's a filter, so, <laughs> anyway, in today's video, um, my daughter is <coughs> handing down that whiteboard thing, whiteboard and chalkboard, so we've got her a soft adhesive whiteboard and a new bedside cabinet because she's getting older now. She wants a big girl room. Um, and obviously just cleaning and pottering around the house as usual. So I hope you guys enjoy and don't forget to hit the like button um, because when I get to a thousand subscribers, I will be giving um, a £50 Amazon voucher, not sponsored, out of my own pocket to one of my subscribers or patreons and also when i hit 2000 subscribers i'll be shaving my head and donating the proceeds of the video to the wales air ambulance and my head to the little princess trust that's if i make my get my head to a thousand two thousand subscribers because it's just getting so thin now it's getting ridiculous anyway guys with all i said let's jump straight into it <laughs> Let the flame fill the night When we touch then we ignite Let the flame fill the night You and me light up the sky Cause we are fire and we're burning We'll put it out even though we're hurting Let the flame fill the night When we touch then we ignite Okay, I'll be honest, I hate this time of year. January to about March, I absolutely can't stand because it starts getting lighter, which means in, in the UK, it starts getting colder, which means as I'm recording this, we are due snow today, but thankfully it's only on the hills um, in Wales anyway. Um, I, I, I like the 21st of December because it starts getting lighter, but I hate it because it gets colder. But then we are on the upstream because I love my summer can't wait for summer to come back i'm done with winter i'm done with my boiler overheating the other day seriously i put my thermometer in the, in the radiator and it shot up over 60 degrees celsius and i was like how um the thermostat was on 20 there's something seriously wrong with my boiler i've had the engineer out now i think four or five times and it's just ridiculous my water is scaldering hot or freezing cold and nothing in between and i've just had enough of it and i'm on oil so it's gobbling up my oil yes oil is cheaper than gas um supposedly but oh it's just really doing my head in and then i come to bed and i'm absolutely roasting i feel like i'm going through the big m because i'm absolutely roasting and i'm too young for that but just because the house is just so hot don't get me wrong i like a warm house but not when it's eating my oil, like drinking it, like, uh, I don't know, fish in a fish tank or something. I, oh, sorry about the analogy, is that the word? Anyway, as you've seen, um, I'm getting on with just stripping my bed and getting things done. Now, I have actually found a hack. I've got a sliding door and my cat can open the sliding door. So if you have a look in the far right corner uh, by the basket, you'll see a little white thing on the floor. It's actually a pole that I just stuck in the slot of the door and my cat can't open it. So now I can actually make my bed in peace without having to fight the cats while I'm making my bed and it's so much quicker just to make it with them not there the other thing I don't know if I mentioned in one of my previous videos I am down five kilograms now from me coming off the steroids um if you're new here I'm a brain injury survivor I've had three cysts rupture on my brain that happened in May and I'm still recovering I'm still very weak um but I am getting a lot better um <laughs> I have so clearly got CIPA because I've dropped the washing machine on my foot on new year's day and also i've also uh, cut my finger open and i didn't feel it until she put some saline on it so yeah i've obviously still got the cipa i am feeling a bit more temperature it's not quite right but I, especially when my boiler throws it into <laughs> the mix 
but um, it's still not quite right, but it is a lot better. Anyway, um, taste and smell. Oh, again, it's not... Co you know what I mean. But... Um, it's, it's part of the CIPA. I still can't stand the taste of or the smell of coffee. Um, I used to be addicted to coffee. I just cannot stomach it. The smell, it smells like something out of a farmyard to me. I uh, absolutely hate it. Anyway, that's enough rambling. Obviously, I've got loads to do, so I'm just going to crack on with it. Thanks for watching, guys. <music>
it saves a lot of space in the room and it gives us something to draw on and well I'll be honest as I said in my previous videos I used my chalkboard until high school because that's what I ended up using to study I used to just write little notes and use it for study so she can use this long term I've now put the remainder of the roll in my office so that I've got a bit of a whiteboard on there as well I used um this squeegee type thing that I used to put the uh, DC fix on my kitchen counters if you haven't seen that video um, I wrapped my kitchen when I was recovering from my brain injury and falling asleep halfway through because I was having like little cat naps and that is due to the brain injury um, and now I'm not sleeping because of stress so yeah it's um, I wasn't sleeping because of steroids and I'm sleep not sleeping because of stress lovely <laughs> isn't life great I hope you guys are having a better 2022 seriously I'm done with this year already and what today we're only six days in <laughs> Okay, I'll be honest, I, I'm going to blow my own trumpet here. I am pretty good at flat pack and I rather enjoy it. I find it quite therapeutic. But for some reason, the instructions on this one, I got upside down and back to front and inside out. So I put the runners, as you can see, on the, the unit. I built the unit up and then realized once I was putting the drawers in that the, I put the runners in the wrong side. Well, first I put them on um, and then the screws, they just popped off through the screws because I put them in the wrong hole. We have that problem. Um, and then um, I built the unit. I changed them all around. I changed the screws around, um, built the unit, and then realized that the runners were upside down. So, yeah, idiot me. So, yeah, great. Um, but once the runners were in and the drawers and that, um, it was fine. And it works absolutely fine. Here I'm trying to figure out how these little plastic things go into the corners. I just could not figure that out. So I was thinking, well, the IKEA flat packs don't have... Um, these little plastic corners so I'm just going to leave it off and the rest of it it did take me about an hour to two hours to make it but only because I made a big mess of the runners and then I've got the extension on the drill bit with the flexi edge because I couldn't find the adapter I was correction I was too lazy to go and find the adapter just so I could put the screw heads into the drill and make my um screwing in a lot easier I have got a ratchet screwdriver there which does make it a lot quicker anyway but um, that's what gets with lazy. You just have to do a bit more work. So here goes the first draw. And then I realized that the runners are upside down. Oh, my goodness. Like, really? How thick can I be? So other than that, I'm just like, I can't believe I done that. I'm an idiot. <laughs> so here we go again and start taking them all out and swapping them all around again. And then I'll continue making the draws. <laughs> This is what I mean about real life. I'm so busy concentrating on what I'm doing. You'll see my daughter move the camera. 
there you go. And uh, I had a friend over who noticed that the camera was out of shot and moved the camera back for me. So I apologize, I'm out of shot really here. Um, and then you mainly got the cabinet, but this is real life, I'm too busy trying to sort out what I've got to do. And there you go, there's the drawers. She's had a little play with them and now I'm gonna take the whiteboard chalkboard out um, and let her style her room. And as she said, mommy, I want to organize it. So I let her organize it, yeah. She's put uh, all her Christmas chocolates, bless her, into one drawer. She's still got all her Christmas chocolates. Um, I think she's just had the Smarties. But I put a clock on there and her little vanity case. And the rest of it is all her doing. So I'm really proud of her. Well, that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your company. You're using your social media credit to watch my videos. Um, look after your brains. Look after each other. And I will see you in the next one. Take care. See you. Bye. Life goes up and it goes down I know my mom taught me that I figured why we fool around So little And we keep track of time Being so serious Idiots Thinking it will matter Keep me company downtown